I'm Rebecca Louise and today on Exit we're doing one of my favourites, it's Pilates. So roll your mat out and let's get going. Okay, so make sure you're in a nice quiet place. Get yourself a mat, roll it out, get somewhere nice and comfortable, we're going to protect our backs. And let's come down to the ground. I'm just going to put a weight there actually, just to make sure that my mat doesn't roll up. We're going to lie flat on the ground, we're going to lift our legs up. And then we're just going to gently take our legs down to each side. We have a minute for this, so just nice and calm. We're going to put our arms out to the side. Remember, I don't want you to grab hold of the ground. We're just using it just for a little bit of stability. So using those lower abs to bring the legs down and then all the way up to the top. Really squeeze those abs. Think about using those lower ab muscles to bring you up, not the grip on the ground. Okay, and I just want everyone to give me a nice inhale. And as you drop the legs down, exhale. How are those abs feeling? Are we ready for a good strengthening Pilates workout? Yes, I am for sure. And let's just relax into it. And inhale. And exhale, nice and slowly. Let's bring it one more time up to the top. Okay, keep your legs here. We're gonna bring our chest off the ground. We're gonna lower them down and we're gonna circle to the left for 30 seconds. Again, you're gonna really feel it. As you drop those legs down, as they get to the ground, you're gonna feel it in the lower part of your abs which for lots of people, that's the hardest part to work. So this is a great exercise. Try and keep your chest up, legs straight, shoulders open, and just very slow and controlled, bring your legs up. Okay, let's take it round to the other side. So to the right, no worries if you started going right before, just make sure that you're going in the opposite way to the first time you went round. Okay, and let's all inhale again, and exhale. Oh, I can feel my stomach muscles working. It's feeling good. So keep it going, guys. Using those ab muscles to bring you up. Let's go around for one more time, and bring it up. Okay, so I want you to lie back down. You're gonna put our arms over our head. Whew, and we're just gonna come up and then give us a nice stretch in our hamstrings. We have a minute of this. So going down nice and slowly, really controlled, one vertebrae at a time, bring those arms over the head and let's pull up again. Oh, use those arm, abs to bring you up, not the arms. Nice stretch. Every time you come up, you're gonna be able to get lower over those legs. I'm not that flexible. But this exercise is really going to improve that flexibility in our hamstrings. Okay, use those ab muscles. Pull yourself up, open the chest up, and then head down over onto the knees. And slowly go down. Keep it going. Now we've been doing a few Pilates videos on exit. Everyone seems to be really enjoying them, so I'm always going to keep bringing you more. Remember, if you've got any ideas or things that you want on exit, you can always just leave us a message and we'll do our best. Okay, next exercise. See, that went nice and quickly, just one minute. We're going to bring both legs up. We're going to bring one leg down. We're going to give our right leg a stretch and then we're just going to switch over. And as this leg comes up, we're just going to give this a stretch too. So we've got this for a minute. So the scissors, think about it as you're just a big, open pair of scissors, legs are changing, and then that leg that is nearest to you, you're just gonna hold it slightly, just to give yourselves a little stretch. I don't want you to grab hold and bring it into your chest, just a slight hold. Really good for your lower abs, because remember, any time we're flat on our back and our legs are extended out in front of us, near to the ground, it's super good for those abs. Just for a few seconds and then change over. That's it, really hold that leg close to your chest and then swap, but don't tug on it, remember. Okay, let's inhale and exhale. 
How are we feeling? Are we feeling good? Getting a nice, slow, controlled workout. Let's give it one more on the other leg. Hold it here and release. Okay, I want you to come up onto your elbows. We're going to extend our left leg out in front of us. We're going to come up and we're going to bring our one leg up and down. We have 30 seconds on this leg and then we're going to swap over to the other. So think about having your chest up, keep that bottom off the ground and then just extend the leg up and down. You're going to be working your glutes and your abs and you're going to feel it in those quads as well. Whew. See, you're getting a nice little sweat on, but it's slow, controlled. Always make sure you're in a nice, peaceful area when you're doing Pilates and yoga. Let's switch over to the other side and put that leg up and down. Now you can alter the leg that you've got flat on the floor, that foot. You can move it forwards and backwards depending on what's the most comfortable for you. And you're just going to find out best with testing it out. So again, keep that chest up. So I can feel it in my glutes. I'm getting hot. And breathe. Make sure that you do keep hydrated. And after this workout, you take on plenty of water because you've lost a lot during sweat. Okay, release. So your last exercise before we do it all over again, you've just got one minute. It's almost like you do the Russian twists. And then we're just going to hold it out here. We're going to inhale and then exhale to the other side. So really using those ab muscles, twist, open up that chest. You can put your legs down if you're finding that too difficult. But if you can, try and keep them up in the air. Okay, so inhale as you get to the middle and exhale as you open up that chest. Keep it going. Come on, we've got this. You're already nearly halfway through. You can do this all over again. I promise you, just think about it being nice and calm. Think about your breathing, just inhaling and exhaling. Oh, I can feel it in my abs, can feel it in my quads as well. It's feeling good, I'm getting an awesome workout. And breathe. Now the more you twist, the more you're gonna be using those oblique muscles. And that's these side muscles here. So getting some definition in our waist, trimming down. Let's give it one more up to the side. Relax those legs, give yourselves a bit of a wobble. And then let's lie down again. Do you remember what was first? Yep. Put your arms out to the side. We've got windmills. So just dropping it down slowly. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. <sighs> How are you feeling? You feeling good? You feeling like you're getting a good workout? Even if it's Pilates and it seems much slower, we're still really concentrating on using those muscles, isolating them. So if you have any other ideas about workouts that you guys may have, maybe you've got the perfect workout that Exit should do, then you should leave us a comment. But if you want to contact me, you can do that through Facebook, Rebecca Louise Fitness, or on Twitter, The Model Pilot. Come on, almost there. Give me one more drop down. Bring that up to the top, and as you do, bring those shoulders off the ground, and we're going to circle to the left. Now you're going to be able to feel this even more the second time through. So if you're struggling, you can just hold out your legs in front of you. That's the modified way. And breathe. Great job, everybody. After this, you need to drink plenty of water. Keep yourself hydrated because we lose a lot of water when we're working out. Five, four, three, two, one. One, let's take it round the other side. Oh, I can feel it in those lower abs, but it feels good. You've just got 30 seconds left of this to do. In fact, less than 30 seconds. So keep it going. <sighs> Breathing in <sighs> and out. You've got this, guys. Come on, stay with me. Keep those legs straight. Open that chest out. <sighs> Breathe. Keep it going. Do you remember what's next? We're going to be doing those full sit-ups, okay, for one minute. So, lie back down. Okay, so put your arms over your head and let's do that full sit-up again using those abs coming down. And if you can, which I can't just yet, but I will be able to soon rest your head over the knees. 
Okay, so big breath in and exhale as you have a nice stretch over your hamstrings. Don't pull hard on your legs, just let your head relax over. Okay, and that's it, nice and slowly. Bringing it up and over we go. And let's see if we can just take this nice and slow. Vertebrae by vertebrae, just taking it down. You can do it, you can do it. And release, move this ball off my head. And pulling up again, open the chest as you come up and relax over. Whew. Are we feeling we're getting a good sweat on? Yes, we are. Okay, let's do it for the last time. Pulling it up, breathe in and exhale. And down we go, nice, slow and controlled. Okay, bring those legs up together. Extend one down and then bring that other one to you. Almost touching the ground with that leg that's going to the floor. And inhale, as the leg drops down, exhale. Pull that leg in a little bit closer if you can. Don't grab on it too tight, just nice and gentle, giving it a nice stretch. Feeling it as well in those lower abs as you switch over, that's when you're gonna be able to really feel it. So think about it now as it's switching, feel that lower ab work, and then give yourselves a nice stretch. Just one minute of this, you're already halfway there. So let's keep it going, nice, slow and controlled. Keep that back nice and flat on the floor. A great way to test for it is if you stick your hand underneath and you really try and squeeze down so that you're, you can't actually take your hand out from your back. Try and get a friend to do it as well, that's a great way to test it. Really squeeze their hand down so they're trapped. Whew, okay, release those legs. Whew, okay, so bringing your shoulders off the ground, we're gonna extend our left leg out, bring those hips up and drop that leg down to the ground, almost touching, and then leg up so it's in a straight line with your other leg. So don't bring it up too high. We just wanna think about bringing that pelvis up and down. Keep that hips nice and still. We're just moving that leg. Use those hands on the floor for some support. And if you look up to the ceiling, Open up that chest. Give me one more. Okay, switch over to the other side. And let's take it away for 30 seconds. And if you've done one side, you're gonna have to do the other side because you don't wanna be lopsided. Keep it going. <sighs> Inhaling and exhaling. See if you can just bring those hips up a little bit more for me. <sighs> so just kind of really squeezing those glutes using our ab muscles. We're gonna be working out our shoulders as well. So this one's a great full body exercise. Two, one, okay, release your last minute of exercise. Remember what we did? We're gonna bring it in and out, opening up that chest. Legs off the floor if you can. But I just want you to make sure that you keep moving the whole time throughout this minute. So if you need to put your legs down onto the ground, your feet flat, just like this, then you can. I just want to make sure that you are keep twisting that upper body. Breathing in and out as you extend that chest open. Oh, are we feeling good? Feeling like you're getting a good workout in? Awesome. Me too. And breathe in and out. Come on, really try and twist a little bit further using those ab muscles, those obliques to twist us round. You've done great already, guys. You're gonna be able to feel it in those quads as well. Breathe in and out. Last side and relax. Okay, give those legs a wiggle. I'm just gonna give you a good stretch that you can do after any exercise and after yoga and Pilates too. So put your hands where your sort of armpits are and then we're just gonna push up into the cobra stretch just to stretch out those abs. We're gonna come up and then into child's pose. So really think about someone's grabbing in front of you to open up that back, hold it here. Okay, let's go back into our cobra stretch. Come down, stretch out those abs. 
Open up the chest and look up to the ceiling. Keep those arms straight beneath you. And let's inhale. And exhale. And then as we inhale, we're going to come up into child's pose. And exhale as you come down, opening up that back. Really feel a good stretch across here. Sit back down, put your bottom to where your feet are. And let's inhale. And exhale. And let's do it one more time. So we inhale. And then as we come down, we're then going to exhale out. Just hold it here. Really feel that good stretch. And let's inhale for the last time. Let's take it into that child's pose. Sit down onto those feet. Let your head relax. Open up that back. Really feel those shoulder blades pushing apart. Okay, let's inhale and exhale. And then inhale as you gently come up. Exhale and gently come to standing. Well done, everybody. Now, some people much prefer yoga and Pilates, and that's why X here has got plenty more videos in that category for you. But if you want to try something, maybe that's more upbeat, we've got calorie workouts, we've got ab burners, leg burners, everything that you need is in one channel. So make sure you subscribe. Any questions, you can Facebook me on uh, at Rebecca Lewis Fitness, sorry, and Twitter at The Model Pilot. See you again next time.